Hey collective, it's your girl Lightwork Goddess and Tara. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So we're here to do a pick a pile reading. We have pile one, the orange, pile two, pink, and pile three, blue. I want you to take some time, time to pause this video as today we're going to be looking into the person on your mind, their current feelings, and we're going to do some messages, some tarot, and see whatever we get out. So again, we have orange, pink, and blue. If it's your first time here, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, feel free to email me in my email, which is in the description in the description box, but we're gonna jump right in with pile one. Okay, pile one. So if you chose the orange fabric paint, this is your reading. So let's just look into the spiritual meaning behind the color orange. Now I do know that orange is the controller of the spirit, uh, the sacral so chakra. So orange represents abundance and is a warm and energetic color. Orange has many meanings, including somebody has a difficulty talking, including affection, warmth, and sensuality. Orange is the color of the second or the sacral chakra. So we know that the sacral chakra has a lot to do with like um, sexuality. Um, when it's not grounded, someone can be like overly sexual. Um, or if it's like repressed, someone can be like hiding their sexuality. So I feel like this is somebody who feels that you're very warm and abundant and that you have a lot of energy. Someone also has a lot of sensual feelings towards you. And they feel like in the connection, this person, they feel very warm and very like affectionate around you okay so that's what we got for orange now let's get your tarot so we have the ten of pentacles look at that you guys got a lot of orange too we have fucking apologize <laughs> don't f enforce it you are loved money put the phone down shame regret and guilt are just bs and you look like a shit show what I'm getting right now for you, Pile One, and the person on your mind and their current feelings is definitely could have been someone you had a relationship, Ten of Pentacles, with. There are three people in this card. You could have had a dog with this person or even children. I feel like there were a lot of outside forces with this, but I feel like somebody knows that they need to apologize to you. Okay, and I feel like this person hasn't been trying to force things with you. Like this person could have very much been giving you space or in no contact with you because I'm getting that they don't really know what to say. I was getting a little bit um, mixed up with my words. I feel like this person is like someone who was very, we have pentacles, not ten of cups. So I feel like you guys <clears throat> could have been in a connection with someone who was very focused on money. Um, very focused on success this person is full of shame regret and guilt and because of that they're like they need to just forgive themselves and let that ish go but i also feel like some of you guys might be struggling to forgive them or they might think that you have just let them go right now this person is not doing very well they look like a, a shit show and they're a hot mess like they need to clean themselves up feminines if you're dealing with a masculine i'm seeing somebody that could be once been very attractive very flashy that's like not getting a lineup not getting you know not taking care of themselves if they went to the gym maybe they gained some weight for a masculine with a feminine or whatever the gender is it could be the reverse like not doing their makeup wearing sweats all the time and they're they're, they're really like going through it with this money being here and these pentacles, I feel like this is somebody who was maybe trying to go with the flow with you, you know, maybe just like wanting you to chase them would allow shit to come to you. It's like, I feel like this is somebody who hid them, their feelings from you and they really are full of shame and regret. And it's like, they're just all up in their head, not knowing what to say. Cause I feel like this is someone pile one who could have really acted like they weren't interested in you. And now it's like this person, it's like, they love you. They feel like you were put in their life for a reason, but they feel like they effed it up. And that's why they want to come towards you, but they don't want to force it because they don't want to do any more damage than they already did. I'm getting somebody with this orange that I feel like they might need to apologize over something that has to do with sex. They could have cheated on you. They could have had other options, other partners, okay? And I feel like this person's sacral chakra is not balanced. I feel like this person is overactive. So I'm getting someone who could be a sex addict, a porn addict, somebody who could have love, but um, cover up love with sex. And this person is watching you on social media. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. So this person really wants to talk to you, but for some reason, they're just watching you. And I feel like it's because they're full of guilt and shame. And there's something that they're seeing on your socials that's making them really, really sad. Maybe you just appear to like, you don't care, like you're moving on. So that's the overall energy that we got. Let's get some more uh, tarot. I keep hearing this song. I don't really know how it goes, but it's don't, 
Don't just want to be. Don't want to fuss and fight. Don't want to do anything. Don't want. Let me look that up so I can give you guys some of the lyrics. Don't want to fuss and fight. Don't want to do Don't want to fuss and fight. And um, let me see. Fuss song. Gotta find it, guys. Give me one moment. But anyways, I can't find it. But if you know the song, put it in the description. But or the comment section. That song, it was used as a background to. I don't know if you guys have seen that Rihanna's pregnant by ASAP Rocky, and she looks so happy, and so does ASAP. And they use that song in the background. I don't know if you guys seen the image of Drake, um, kind of like looking so upset at the at the basketball game like looking at his phone like he saw he also unfollowed rihanna and asap rocky so i'm kind of getting that energy like some of y'all might be in a new relationship or be dating and someone from your past who was like focused on money could have been very egotistical is really just like in the energy now of um watching you and being really sad but feeling like they did too much all right spirit give me some energy who is this person what's going on with the person on my collective's mind give me some indicators of who this person is Okay. Seven of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Judgment. This is someone who's going through karma. And I feel like karma's whooping their ass. And I feel like it's because of the fact they were in this Seven of Swords energy. Very, very, very um sneaky. This person could be single, very independent with the Nine of Pentacles. Or they can be seeing you in this energy. Like, maybe you were once very clingy, very attached. I don't know why this is in this deck. Yeah, this is somebody who didn't want to move towards calmer waters with you. Six of um, Swords in reverse. I feel like this person was, like, enjoying being single, didn't want to commit, was acting like they didn't like you. Give me judgment. So I feel like this person's really going through karma right now. I don't know why some of these other tarot cards are in this deck, so I'm going to take them out. Yeah, this is somebody who walked away from the, the star. Five of swords with the star. This is someone who turned their back on you, and I feel like they're going through karma because of that. It's like you were their wish fulfillment, but they were rejecting you. Yeah, this person is no longer in hangman at the moment. There's some illumination that has happened. Give me the seven of swords for the person on the collective's mind. Yeah, this is somebody who is struggling to apologize. Somebody who um, rejected you, but now they want balance. So they're struggling to apologize with the Knight of Cups. Um, Nine of Pentacles, what? Ten of Cups in reverse. They didn't offer you a Ten of Cups. Yeah, and this person had a lot of secrets with the moon. Give me the Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I feel like you intuitively knew something toxic about this person. You're coming up as the Empress, and this person's in regret, Five of Cups, because, you know, you closed out the cycle with them. So this is the person, someone from your past that didn't give you a love offer, that rejected you, that was just more happy being single, and now I feel like you're moving on. Some of you guys are in new connections, or at least you look like it, and this person is, like, all up in their feelings. How does this person currently feel about my collective? They feel like you don't want a relationship with them. They feel like five of swords again, like you completely have like walked away from them. So now they're like in hangman about, they don't know if they could come to you. They feel like they, if they did have a third party, they could have broke up with somebody. I'm hearing the grass was not greener. This person could have moved towards someone else over you or just invested in other connections and now they regret it. So give me the higher font in reverse. The Wheel of Fortune, yeah, a cycle's been closed out. So they feel like there's no chance of you guys having a higher level commitment. Give me the, um, yeah, the Five of Swords. I feel like you walked away from this person because they were moving slow to give you a, a love offer. And we know the Knight of Pentacles is like in and out of your life, here for a good time, not a long time. It is like a loyal, I feel like this person would want to be loyal to you, but yeah, they weren't making you happy with the Sun in reverse. Yeah, and now this person's all up in their head about wanting to take a leap of faith with you with the Fool. Give me the Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah, Knight of Swords in reverse. This person could have dropped a third party, but isn't taking any action. Wanting to make a decision about you as the Empress, as they see you as a lover. Give me the lovers and the Empress. Yeah, Justice. With the devil, there's some sort of truth. This person is obsessing over you. They're, they're obsessing over giving you some sort of justice. Spirit, what is this justice? It has to do with a love offer. Either they want to truly tell you how they feel. This could really be someone, they're so burning by this. The emperor, you guys are coming up as a match. This is someone from your past that wasn't given to you. Ten of cups in reverse again. This person was loving their single life. It's like they could have just been a dickhead. And now they're like, I feel really stupid. Like if I want to come back to the collective. Yeah, this is somebody who wants to return. Eight of cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody who was holding back from you. 
someone who broke your heart because they were juggling and knight of wands energy in and out very lustful energy now they're all up in their head about this and i feel like you intuitively could have found out something about that made you very unhappy knight of cups in reverse with a, another party it was a secret but i feel like you intuitively knew i don't feel like this person told you this person doesn't know if you know or not that they were dealing with other people pi one okay and a queen of wands is typically the other woman so i feel like you found out either you were the other woman or the other man or that they had someone else yep yeah this person had options seven of cups they weren't communicating with you page of cups they were very guarded nine of wands and they had you waiting three of wands so i feel like you got sick of it and you was like i'm moving on I'm not waiting anymore because this person was not only guarded towards you, blocking you out seven of wands, but they were indecisive. And who has time for that? Give me one second. Okay, pile one. Sorry about that. I had a lot of people contacting me on a phone call about business. So some of you guys might be getting a phone call about business, but let's continue with the person pile one. How do they feel about you? How does pile one person currently feel about pile one? Yeah, they, they're all up in their head about wanting to take a leap of faith with you. There's something definitely here with a third party and another relationship. Um, they want to come towards you for a new start. But they could be struggling to walk away from a Ten of Cups because they feel like it could. There are some blockages here that might cause a tower. Are they still dealing with this third party spirit? Knight of Wands, in and out. Sexually, Ten of Pentacles, a solid foundation. Came out again. Three of Swords, Heartbreak. Mm, a queen of swords with a three of pentacles there's another feminine energy here that i think this person does not want to be with and i think that's because they want to be with you yeah they want to return but they're struggling because they're still in this toxic connection they have love for you but they're secrets yeah this person's still sneaky there's a queen of pentacles here as well uh just a lot of other energies on the table so pile one i would say be careful with this person i feel like they love you but i feel like they got a lot going on with someone else in their life which is fell it's dark and you can't see a fucking thing this person's going through like a dark night of the soul look at that struggling with deception struggling to tell the truth this person might come towards you hiding things yeah hiding the fact that they could be flirtatious or still flirting with other people but this person that sees you as a true love is coming in very soon but they are struggling to get out of some sort of codependent relationship okay any other messages about uh, one reconciliation someone from your past is returning so paul one i guess if there's somebody coming in towards you that you have disconnected from somebody that could have maybe acted like they didn't want to got with someone else and is really regretting that decision yeah saturday morning cartoons i feel like they're very nostalgic about you they're watching you they feel like you're very abundant and very vast but the rainforest is also very beautiful but it's scary i feel like this person's kind of scared of their feelings for you yeah walrus in reverse they're hiding the fact that they're watching you and they they want to have a start with you with sunrise but it's in reverse they don't know how to have that start i feel like with snowstorm there could be a lot going on a lot of chaos a lot of drama and yeah they feel just like oh my god you're funny what the fuck they feel very like connected to you like you have a beautiful energy with that buzzfeed yellow anything else yeah but they're not really sure what to do they're still kind of like trying to in between making the decision and here we go with the tower this person is flowing like a river with emotions for you i feel like for them to come towards you they have to leave something and they don't know what's going to happen with that any messages for part one okay this person is um struggling with the fact that they be thought and bopping you're fucking with a playboy playgirl okay but they're very sexually um attracted towards you and it's kind of like where they got it didn't work out and now they want to see what's up with you okay i moved on new love third party this person is struggling to get out of this um third party and also you are the divine feminine could be a masculine but i feel like this person might be trying to come towards you and lie about a baby mama mm. that it's like they're attached to we did have that ten of pentacles and ten of cups yeah the competition is there hours true love again and let me taste it in reverse this person really wants to have sex with you okay they have responsibility so you could be very famous and this person is like in the energy of love has hurt me before so they don't really know what to do look didn't i say grass was not greener remember you left me left me first this person's going through de depression because wherever they went the grass was not greener and they don't really know if one they could be fully committed or if you're even going to want to deal with them so that's all i got for you pile one if this message resonated be sure to like comment share and subscribe and we're going to go on to pile two <sighs> oh 
Okay, pile two, 1414 is when your pile started. So if you pick this pile, you pick the color pink for the fabric paint. Pink symbolizes youth, good health, and playfulness. It is the flush of first love and stands for nurturing femininity. It's used as a symbolic color for the movement to support breast cancer research. And we think of pink as an innocent, cheerful color. So it definitely represents femininity and, and romance. So I'm definitely getting that this is my divine feminine um, pile. Let's get your messages. We have the Emperor and the Knight of Pentacles. But take a shot, get the fuck outside, move your ass, laugh, and have you eaten your ass like a big baby. Divine Feminine, you got an Emperor in their feelings. They're all up in their feelings. They feel like you're very funny. They feel like they had great laughter with you. But this person is like maybe not eating, very sad, very depressed over the connection, wanting to come towards you and take a shot. But like the Emperor makes decisions. The Emperor knows how to move. The Emperor like knows what they want and has no issue going towards that but i feel like for some reason this person does not show up in emperor energy with you so how does a person okay choose friends wisely that's my third party card so friends could have been a factor in this connection with this emperor or this person i don't know why i'm hearing like they don't like your friends they don't like the fact that you go out a lot or their friends could have really not been um yeah with chain tracks in reverse i feel like some of their friends like to keep them in this knight of pentacles energy would keep your commitments in reverse of like keeping them non-committal it's like this person really wants to be an emperor they're grieving the loss of you they want to correct their mistakes and they're trying to face their shadow but it's like um i feel like their friend group like likes them to doesn't really want them in a happy connection because it's like bros before hoes or like they're like a great wingman but i feel like this person now wants to step out of this knight of pentacles energy and be the emperor because they're not really willing to accept what's dying this person wants to come in and be sincere and look at that shine your light and live life to the fullest this person mm, said no to you or they feel like you're gonna say no they don't like the fact that you're living your life to the fullest or that you're shining without them they're definitely watching your social media so give me some indicators on this emperor this person how do they feel about my pile two this person that's very much in pile two's energy i'm hearing missed opportunity four pentacles um, two of pentacles. This person could have been juggling you. Um, they want to be honest with the fact that you are their nine of cups. Like, this is somebody who was hiding how they felt about you. They see you as a star, wish fulfillment, but it's like they closed out the cycle with the world and hermit. They isolated themselves from you. And now it's like you're in this single, abundant nine of pentacles energy, and they want to give you some sort of truth, some sort of clarity, or they want to express themselves. This person was not living in their truth. They were living in their shadow yeah three of pentacles the person could have built solid foundations with other people similar energy to power one and now they want to come in and really tell you how they feel yeah there was a lot of conflicts but i also feel like this person was battling themselves battling their own feelings and now they want to take a leap of faith with the fool Okay, Six of Pentacles. I feel like they weren't giving towards you equally or they were struggling to do so. Because I feel like this person just had a lot of people in their energy. But now they're going through some sort of karma over a decision that they made to... Um hurt the feelings or backstab or betray their level which is you wherever they went they did not get their investment what did i say i meant four cups when i said four pentacles but honestly it could be the same thing this person rejected you and it's like they um are regretting that decision because wherever they went they did not get their wish fulfillment it could be like they just went towards another lifestyle like and now it's like they want to have this start with you with the four of wands and they feel like very creative page of swords i said they're watching you they want to move towards calmer waters because they're not happy without you they want to move towards you the happy which is you somebody from your past okay they see you in this queen of wands energy very sexy very abundant very confident and it's like they feel like they're missing out on an opportunity now how does this person currently feel about my collective and pile two <laughs> four pentacles came out yeah they know they rejected you they know they held back from you yeah they really regret that decision of not moving towards the queen of cups they know you love them and wherever they went, I'm getting it was not loving. Yeah, this person wants to bring balance into the situation. They also could be in their King of Pentacles energy of being very much all up in their head, focused on money and trying to live for practicality, like 3D things. But look at that. They're struggling to see you. They were struggling to see you as an empress or they could be struggling with an empress. They're struggling to communicate. I feel like they're just kind of afraid of you because you guys come, are coming out as an empress and the emperor. Okay, this person regrets to the decision. They were very guarded towards you, King of Cups, Two of Wands. Some of you guys could have more than one person in your energy. You could have someone um, who is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who like you love them as much as they love you and also they want to be your emperor. But we have what just fell. Don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. I don't think you guys are speaking. 
Okay, so what's this person's intentions with my pile two? <laughs> to come towards you with the chariot. What's their intentions? Yeah, this, but this three of pentacles, that could also mean building a solid foundation. Um, I feel like they want to communicate. They want to put an end to something to start something new, and they're trying to find the strength to do so. I'm hearing this person has had like a, an awakening since you've been gone, Kelly Clarkson. Yeah, they're watching you, but I feel like this person is still juggling either the idea of coming towards you or juggling more than one person. What are they juggling? What, what their wish fulfillment is, a secret, a tower, a lover, queen of swords. They could be juggling more than one feminine energy. Could be masculine. And the emperor is coming out again. Yeah, no longer wanted to be sneaky with the seven of swords in reverse. Wanted to take this leap of faith to move towards the ten of pentacles. But we look at that two feminine energies again. This could be a player. Clarify this queen of pentacles and queen of swords. Because I feel like you're the empress. And I feel like they struggle to see you. This is somebody who could have dated mad people within the back of their mind. Knowing that you loved them and they loved you. But they still kept trying to see like what was up with other situations. Yeah, that's why they're in Hangman and Two of Swords. But they want to drop these third parties. So it's somebody who needs to drop some people to come towards you. Okay? Because they want a new cycle. Yeah, they want to give you justice. Some sort of truth. Ace of Cups with the Four of Wands with the Six of Cups. <laughs> Eight of Cups. Spirit said that's the truth. Ace of Swords. Somebody from your past wants to return. Because it's like wherever they went, they feel like they're not getting what they want. Nobody does it for them like you do it for them. They were listening to their stupid ass friends. Their friends was telling them to not fuck with you like that. That there's somebody better for you. That they could do better. And now it's like they want to free themselves. But they're struggling to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. They could have got with somebody like because of what their friends were telling them to do. And now they're feeling really dumb because they're not happy. Like they were like putting on a show for others. Which is so fucking childish. But it happens, guys. Yeah, this person doesn't know if it's safe to love you. It's like, you know, I feel like in the past, you guys could have had a lot of differences with spirituality or just beliefs. And they could have let people like be like, oh, they're a weirdo. Like, why do you want to fuck with the pile too? But this person is like, yo, this could be the one. Now we have let your friends help you with children. Some of them could have kids with someone else and their friends could be like, oh, well, you should stay with so-and-so because you got a kid with them. But this person wants to take the, the relationship with you to a higher level. It's like, you're their love. You're their true love. And they want you to forgive them, but they don't feel like you're going to. Yeah, because there's so much passion. They want to make the effort. They want to give the relationship a chance and they're thinking about you so much that they're calling you in. So if there's somebody from your past who you feel like passed you up for someone else, they're super much thinking about you. They feel like you're not going to forgive them. They feel like they listen to the wrong people. And it's like now they want to come back in and give you some sort of love offer. Yeah, daddy issues in reverse will glow up. I feel like they have witnessed your glow up. They see you're perfect, but they could be having issues with their child's parent. They could be a baby mom or baby dad. They feel like there's going to be a lot of rumors about the connection because I feel like they could have kept some secrets from you. This person wants you to know that they are real and that they were moving at a still, pa still pace. They missed the sex with you. And yeah, look at that. The person they got with fit their life better for clout. But they need you. And I feel like this person is needing some sort of therapy that they're not having. Yeah, but they are very possessive of over you. Okay? And I've changed in reverse. So have they really changed? Maybe not. Or they have changed and they're hiding that from the people they're around. Look, I mess with your family, friends, someone you know. So that's for who it resonates for. This person's coming soon. And like, you guys could have broken up, but they want to seduce you. They feel like you were the right love at the wrong time, but they didn't tell you that. And they're really nervous if you guys can make this work. Because this person knows that they were being toxic. Look at this. I have a family. I lied. And kind. I feel like this person feels like you're kind. And it's like, they're like, why did I do that to the collector? Why did I lie to about, to, why did I, look at that, you're mine. I'm scared to reach out. Why did I lie to the collective about what I had going on? Some of them had someone else. Some of them was messing with a family member of yours or a friend. And there's a lot of shit going on that this person is just very nervous to reach out to you about. Okay. Unicorn. They feel like you're rare. They're watching you on social media. You know, there ain't nothing like a unicorn. It's kind of like, oh my God, they don't know. They feel like you're too good to be true. Okay? Like, they just don't believe it. Otter, I feel like you guys, they feel like you guys are two in the same. That could definitely be a twin of yours. And then, wow. I feel like you wow this person, but they could have hid that from you because it's in reverse. 
And I feel like caverns, they have a lot of secrets, a lot of darkness that they don't want to tell you about. I'm hearing I don't want to jeopardize the connection any more than I already did. Now, they're very nostalgic about you with fortune tellers. Some of them are going into, it's a ripple effect. Like, they're just, their feelings are, like, rippling down. And I feel like it's starting to flood into their relationship. Like, they cannot hide how they feel about you. I just feel like you're the divine feminine. And I feel like, you know... They could even be getting like tarot readings on you. Some of you guys are like tarot readers are very openly spiritual. I feel like they, their friends felt like you were weird or they were a little bit nervous to maybe bring you around their friends because they didn't want their friends to judge you. Okay. You know, but it's like now this person is like really in their feelings, feeling really sad because wherever they went, they're not happy. They're not living their life to the fullest. They're not shining their light. And it's like this person just wants to live in their authentic self. So that's what I got for you, pile two. If this message resonated, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we're going to go on to pile three. okay pile three so if you pick the blue fabric paint then this is your reading now blue we already know it's like sadness i'm hearing somebody's very very sad blue can also mean calm peace love honesty kindness truth inner peace emotional depth and devotion but i'm really getting someone's very blue very sad um we have queen of swords i feel like it's because you cut this motherfucker out of your life now we have drop the ego believe what you see and the electric spark i feel like this person feels an electric spark with you but they were very much in their ego and i feel like because of that they're a little bit nervous to come towards you because you saw something that made you not want this person anymore and you're in your queen of swords energy i feel like you cut this person out how does pile three's person feel about pile three Go for your dreams. This person sees you as their dream person and they want to come towards you. But I feel like you cut them off because maybe they were in their ego just being a dickhead. Um, reach for the stars. Yeah, they see you as their star, their wish fulfillment, and they want to reach for you. Um, seek hidden treasure. They could have been having you as a secret as it's in reverse and now they want to make shit public. Yeah, they see that you're embracing your power, that you're living in your truth, that you're not afraid to walk away from things that don't serve you. And now they want to come in and be sincere with acts with sincerity. All right, Spirit, what was the connection like between Pile 3 and this person? Okay, very guarded energy. This person like sabotaged and pushed you away. We have an emperor here who saw you as a lover, but they definitely created a tower due to their secrets. Um, They do want the Ten of Pentacles with you, a solid foundation. What was the connection like between pile three and this person? I'm hearing chaotic. Yeah, they were struggling to get out of some sort of toxic energy. But look at that. The star coming out. They see you as a star. Yeah, this person definitely waked, walked away from you. Someone from your past. And now I'm getting that they regret that. And they want to communicate because you are the empress. We have the emperor and the empress coming out. They see you as a divine match. I'm hearing that you used to have a soft spot for this person. But they forced your hand by their behavior. What was the connection like with pile three and this person? Yeah, they were in King of Swords energy, but it did want to come out in reverse. So now you're in the Queen of Swords, but I feel like this person was very cold towards you, like very distant, maybe even a little bit harsh. Yeah, and now they want to give you some sort of truth because they're burdened, Ten of Wands, about the fact that they love you and they want to offer you this cup. All right, Pile 3. How do they feel about my Pile 3? They feel like it's an ending here with death. They feel left out in the cold. I feel like they're missing out. They know they were moving slow to give you an offer. Yeah, and this emperor is like struggling to make a decision because they know that they were invested in the wrong thing. They didn't go where they wanted to go, which is towards the empress. And that's why you turned your back on them with the five of swords. How does this person feel about my pile three? Okay, they feel like you're very balanced. I feel like they're also, oh, king and queen of wands with the three of pentacles, with the ten of cups in reverse. They could already be in another connection. Very similar energy. Something that's toxic that they want to let go of with the devil in reverse. Something that's very lustful, very sexually based, very superficial. And I feel like they don't want to be in this connection. And I feel like they're trying to find the strength to communicate with you with the strength of page of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person loves you. They see you as a lover. So they want to communicate with you about the fact that they're not happy. 
wherever they're at they're not getting their wish fulfillment so they want to take a massive leap of faith with the fool 2.0 and the world of fortune they want a new cycle with you yeah it's like they're no longer all up in their head about it they know what they want they just have to take that leap because they want this ten of pentacles yeah so they're struggling to come towards you i'm hearing i'm nervous yeah but they see you as a two of cups they don't want to be sneaky anymore seven of wands and uh swords in reverse okay pile three yep is it safe to love you they're fucking afraid to come towards you Yeah, give your relationship a chance. It's because they didn't give the relationship a chance in the past. And they feel like you don't even want to flirt with them. Like, they know you don't trust them. <laughs> they haven't released an ex either. So it's like that need to release somebody to come towards you. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of differences between you guys. They want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, but they're scared of it. They want to express their love because they see you as a true love. But then again, they're struggling to come towards you because this situation involves marriage. Some of them are married in an unhappy marriage. This could be a soulmate from your past. Similar energies in every pile. Look at that back of the deck. I'm scared to reach out. Pile three's person. How does it feel about pile three? You have a beautiful soul spirit and demonic energy, black magic spell work. Now, this person could have been under some sort of spell, doesn't have to be, or just been around very negative energy. It could be a Virgo as well. I want sex only in fun times. I feel like this person made you feel like in the past that they only wanted sex, even though they see you as perfection and they want to start over. Once again, I'm scared to reach out. Yeah, because this this um person had a lot of secrets in this player F boy energy. They don't want you to go. They want to romance you. They miss your good vibe. Could be a Pisces here, but they're in 3D energy. They feel like you're theirs. They're very obsessed and soulmates. They feel like you're faithful and loyal. Oh my god. Yeah, they're shook if you're leaving them. They was moving at a stale pace. Nine of Pentacles. Some of them do have a family and that's what they're staying at. But they see you have a glow up. They want you to know they're real and I'm yours and you're mine. Someone could be a Capricorn. Good sex between you guys. Sexy times with bomb stick. I got with them when you left and gossip with creative. I feel like wherever they're at, they're not really enjoying the sex. So that is a driving force behind why they want to be with you. Some of them might just want sex only. But I feel like that was their past energy because I do feel like they have true feelings for you, pile three. Yeah, they feel like you sweet, you taste good. I feel like Penguin in reverse, this person no longer wants to follow, like, the system. Like, if they were very much like, oh, I'm married to someone, I have kids with them, I'm going to stay with them. They're no longer in that energy because they're not happy. They're very nostalgic over you. They could be listening to music, thinking about you. They feel like you're just amazing. Like, you're a confetti rainbow, you're abundant, you're happy. But they want to make a start with you, but there's something like a snowstorm, some type of cold energy that's preventing that start. But they feel like they're running out of town. I mean, they could be moving out of town, but... They they feel like they're running out of time with sand. Yeah, crazy patterns. You could be very different, very eccentric, very eclectic. And this person can be very practical. So that could have been something with like that religious factors where they felt like, you know, um, pile three is, you know, very different for me. And I don't know if we can make this work. But I feel like now they don't care because they're so sad without having you in their life. They're so unhappy that they're willing to take this leap of faith. So that's all I got for you, pile three. If this message resonated, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.